Hey, what's up gamers? It's Seedom. Welcome back to another PUBG Training Grounds video. Today, we're gonna be answering a really interesting question. Which is the best SMG, the Vector or the highly requested MP5K? Now, before you cheat and watch this video, I want you to head down to the comments below and let everyone know what your favorite SMG is and why. And then after you watch the video, come back and let us know if you've changed your mind. Here's a little hint. My favorite SMG is the... Okay guys, so today's tests are gonna consist of three key things. The vertical spray pattern tests with both weapons having full attachments and also both weapons having no attachments. Then we're gonna take a look at each weapon's rate of fire and then also the bullet velocity to determine how effective they can be at range. Now, after looking at the first full attachment spray, you can tell the MP5K actually has less horizontal recoil at first, but slowly and gradually increases the amount of horizontal recoil as the spray continues whereas the vector stays pretty consistent from beginning to the end of the magazine. Now one big difference to keep in mind here is the MP5K is actually shooting an additional seven rounds in the magazine, yet you can see it still reaches the same maximum height for the vertical recoil, meaning it has much better vertical recoil than the vector. Now similar and consistent results were found when testing both weapons with the half grip and the lightweight grip. However, when testing with no attachments at all, the MP5K was much more reliable with horizontal recoil compared to the Vector, which was much harder to control. In addition to that, the Vector only has 19 rounds in its magazine as standard, whereas the MP5K has 30. Now the next test is for the bullet velocity test to see how effective these weapons are at certain distances. Now, according to PUBG.Gamepedia, the MP5K should have about 400 meters per second bullet velocity, and the Vector should have about 350 meters per second. However, when testing that at most usable ranges, 50 meters and 100 meters, there's no discernible bullet velocity difference, even down to the single frame. Okay, last up today is the rate of fire for each weapon, and we're gonna start them both off at 33 rounds in the magazine. So after the results, we can see that the Vector was able to empty its magazine in 1.49 seconds, and then it only took 1.78 seconds to reload, whereas the MP5 took 2.12 seconds to empty, then 2.4 seconds to reload. Okay, so, so what does all this mean? Well, let's, let's do some quick math here. So the Vector can put out 22.1 bullets per second at 31 damage per bullet, the MP5K puts out 15.5 bullets per second at 33 damage per bullet. So what that means is the Vector is able to achieve 685 damage per second and the MP5K can only achieve 511 damage per second. And that's assuming uh, no armor on the target. Even if we factor this into a normal case scenario where you'd run into a target with full level two gear. So assuming you never even hit the target in the head and you only hit him in the vest, the Vector puts out 18.50 damage to a level 2 vest. The MP5K puts out 19.80, and that means the Vector has 408 damage per second, whereas the MP5 only has 306 damage per second on a level 2 armor target. Oh, one other tidbit of information I forgot to tell you guys, I thought it was pretty funny. The Vector is apparently a couple inches shorter than the MP5K is on the front muzzle, so when you're up against a wall or uh, strafing up and down stair railings, the Vector is gonna be less likely to get stuck and hung up on those surfaces, whereas the MP5K is more likely to have you aiming straight up and missing your target. So I don't know about you guys, but I thought this whole test was really interesting and fun to do. For me, it was very similar to the two big uh, ARs, the AK and the barrel. When comparing those two, you know, the barrel had a higher fire rate, but it was harder to control the recoil but it did mean it had a higher DPS uh, versus the AK. So in that retrospect, I feel like the Vector is like the barrel and the MP5K is like the AK. Uh, it's a little bit easier to control recoil, but its DPS is a little bit lower. Uh, does that mean it's a worse weapon, a better weapon? Well, that's kind of all coming down to personal preference. If you're trying to put out the most damage to your target in the smallest amount of time, I think the answer is pretty simple. It's the Vector. 
but having additional rounds in the magazine could mean a lot especially if you're doing a duos or a squad game where you don't have enough time to reload in between each gunfight having 40 rounds in that magazine as the, compared to 33 rounds may make the difference of you living or dying in that gunfight so as always, I'm interested to know what you guys think. Uh, let, head down to the comments below. If you didn't already vote what your favorite weapon is, let me know there. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please, as always, make sure to hit a like and subscribe to the channel for other PUBG videos. I got a couple upcoming about uh, best sound settings that you should use in PUBG and also all of the hidden uh, secrets that you may not have known about in the new map Karakin. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.